Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Akanksha. So in today's video, you read the title already. I'm going to talk about the products I'm currently so, 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 so obsessed with. These are the products I cannot do without in an everyday, uh, daily basis. And anybody who asks me recommendation in a certain category and if I, you know this belongs there, I will definitely recommend it because I love them so much. I use them every single day and I what more to say i love them so much so i have like you know skincare hair care or outfits like i have everything mixed it's just random products i fell in love lately and thought i'll let you guys know too so that if you you know you're looking for something you can buy it and you can have fun as much as i am so uh that being said let's get into the video and talk about my favorites i have about like 10 10 products so let's dive in So the first one I'm going to talk about is like probably the one in the recent times it's like my best best find because this literally changed my life. So this is a strapless brows and this is from Skim. Skim's A Skim Kardashian's uh, shapewear line and I saw people rave about it but I never bought it firstly because it does not ship to it they do ship to India but you don't like you know you have to pay customs etc and I never really like bothered to pay like $20 for like a bra but while i was there i wanted to try it and oh my god this is the best strapless bra i've ever worn i'm a person with bigger bus okay and i've tried every strapless bra in the market because i do like wearing off shoulder tops some like spaghetti tops so you know you have to kind of wear padded 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 less no shoulder strapless bra for that and I never found something which is like I found good ones which kind of hold uh, my boobs in place but it's never like I was even comfortable in it you know and this one it's not padded it's not underwired but oh my god does it fit and hold everything well I don't know what is there in this I mean I've tried cute bra types like this a lot of times as well but it just like it's not that supportive it just has like a band on the uh, bottom and then it has a little teeny tiny band on the top as well. I got one, I got black and then I loved it so much that I got one more in the nude as well. So I have two of these and I really like this. This is in the size uh, medium. Generally, I wear everything medium. So this I ordered medium and it worked perfectly fine. It is the most comfortable and the most perfectly working strapless bra I have ever tried. I've been wearing this, like I've been trying not wear like off shoulders or spaghetti tops because I'm like, I'm not in the mood to wear a strapless bra it has to be like something big and the outfit has to be something so nice that i can sacrifice and wear a strapless underwired but now i've been more frequently wearing because this is so damn comfortable you guys i mean if, especially if you have bigger bus i think you really need to try this because we don't find good ones on the market that easily and this one is an amazing one okay enough of the first product i talked about so much because this is the best find honestly and i told it first because i'm so excited for this so the next one i want to talk about about is again another bra but this one is a sports bra so this also is a recent find which i absolutely love this is from adidas it's called ultimate sports bra the support it gives is amazing let me just show you so you kind of put this on like a normal bra the straps are between it's not like a, a sports bra you put it on like generally sports bras are something you put on like a crop top or a bralette right but this is something you put on like a normal uh, bra and it is so damn supportive it you know has this crisscross thing in the back and in the front it's not um, really like padded in a way how regular bras are padded it's in a way to just support it like when i posted about this on instagram people were like if it's already padded would it not make my boobs look a lot more bigger especially if i have like bigger bars but this is not that kind of padding you guys this is just there to support i feel like whenever i wear that it does not seem like a push-up bra or something which could like you know kind of makes it more big it just supports it's there to support and it holds so well you work out you run you jump you do anything this is an amazing one i bought this in 34 uh, C. So when I posted on Instagram, there were a lot of sizes available on the website and it went clean sweep that day. But if you do find this in the store, you can definitely try this one. It's an amazing one. If you're looking for a nice sports bra and you want to invest a good amount, then get this one. It'll stay for a really long time. It's again soft, supportive, 
and you will not regret it so the next one i have is basically these are not like anything special about it but there's this one brand i found recently and i shopped from and i thought i'll let you guys know because they have like really cool stuff like since sheen is banned a lot of people are in a lot of pain that they're not finding good uh, stylish or trending pieces for affordable rates but i think i found this brand which is called basic and i found really really cute pieces so this is like a corset uh, crop top it's so cute like you know it's not like as inexpensive as sheen it's not like 300 400 but it's still down there i got three pieces for like 2500 or something which is good one is this the next one i have is this i wore this in one of my uh, videos this is an off shoulder top it looks again really nice it has this uh, corset finish again this tie up thing and oh my god it's super cute then one more piece i have from them is their black turtleneck which again has this tying kind of things around the waist which is more like midriff just like really good pieces at like not so expensive prices so i thought i'll mention it they have like more other cool trending pieces as well they have like you know it's called basic so it's like bay and sick so they have like really beautiful colors and um, i think they're really nice so i thought i'll mention these three pieces so i got before going to us and i never got to wear them i came back and i got to wear them because they were delivered after i left but yeah if you want to like look out for really nice like basic pieces you can go there then one more brand is this one this shirt i'm wearing so this is not like you know any regular pieces but they have such beautiful shirts like look at this shirt how pretty it is like the print oh my god so colorful so nice i've been so much into shirts lately so this is a, a brand called swara and i bought three shirts for them from them so they are like an offer of buy to get one or something like that and i was like why not why not they looked so so beautiful i'll show you the other two as well this is one the one i'm wearing is one and this is one this is my favorite honestly like look at that color orange pink and you know it's such a beautiful combination i cannot wait to go to a beach just just so that i can wear one of these uh, shirts so super cool collection just more than these three the amazing ones i i i wanted to pick something really colorful so i did but they have blacks and whites they have nudes as well the fitting is really nice the material is really nice so it's a brand called swara uh, i'm not sure if they have they, they do have a website i i did order from the website both of these pages have websites so you can go check it out if you like you can shop Hmm, how stunning like this so unique and so nice now let's move on to um makeup and the foundation i've been so 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 obsessed about lately is this uh, two faced bond this way foundation every time like people used to talk about it i'm like what is the hype i mean what can be so great in that foundation and i tried it and i'm like I get it. I get what you mean. The finish it gives, the longevity it gives, and this is one of the foundations where I found my shade like spot on. I'm in the shade sand, and I love this one so freaking much because I'm telling you, it's spot on. Like if my skin is in a bottle, then. This is it. It's spot on. It matches me perfectly, and I really, really like this one. It's very long lasting. So I have combination oily skin, but it does last for a really long time. But I, I do want to mention one of my another favorite. This I've mentioned so many times before, but um, this got over, and I never really bought it because I wanted to finish another foundation. But I repurchased it because I was not liking my makeup at all. At one point, I'm like, what is wrong? I just bought this, and I'm like. I missed you so much. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation, and this is just amazing, you guys. So I got a different shade while I was in the US. So um, I used to be like three fourteen, like golden sand or golden sun. I don't remember uh, in India, but after that, there's like a too much jump in shade. So I bought a shade in between, and I think it uh, matches me really uh, well. And I love this so much. This is one of the best foundations I've ever tried. These two, like I cannot pick one. And once I started wearing this, I'm like. I remember like my makeup used to look this good for this reason and this is one I again recently fell in love with. I use this like I combine both of these and use sometimes I use it by it's just too good. These two foundations the best I've ever tried and I really really like. Usually people uh, confuse this for the infallible normal one. This is the fresh wear you guys. I'm, I never tried the other one. Always I've spoken about the fresh wear one and this is the best one I've ever ever tried. The next one I have in makeup is this This is the Pack Cosmetics Vibe Eyeshadow Palette. So, I 
recently told in some other video that i have not been into eye shadows like i've not been excited about a eye shadow palette in a really long time but this one did really excite me so much so this is from pack mainly because it was an indian brand it excited me so much they launched the eye shadow palette with 40 different shades that is so so good for an indian brand i mean so proud that they did they took the risk and did it because mostly i feel like you know the indian market is people's mentality is only like why should i pay 4000 for an indian product when i can get the same one in us like you know that is the mentality we have we've been built with that but a lot of people are changing now you know because like homegrown brands and like the awareness is there so this is a palette which is 4000 rupees which is a lot but you know palettes like this all of us i am damn damn sure we paid 5000 6000 on instagram stores and bought palettes like this from maybe like morphe or jacklyn hill and we have bought palettes okay so 4000 for i think is a very reasonable uh, reasonable price i use i did a Uh, two looks using this i'll put a photo here on the screen and it i love it like the colors are so nice uh, the um, shimmers like everything is so nice i have like i really like it especially because see it has all the colors but it also has like the neutral section so you can do like neutrals you can do colors you can do anything like the pinks i love the way they placed it as well like all the brights here then the neutrals warms pinks i love it if you're looking for a palette to invest and you want to support an indian brand i really really i uh, think you should it's an amazing palette it is super pigmented like the only shade like i was not very impressed but it still does a good job is like the yellow but yellows are the same in most of the, it does a lot better than the james charles palette if i may say but oh my god i was so happy and so proud that an indian brand launched such a beautiful um uh, eye shadow palette like the shimmers the matte everything is beautiful and i thought i'll you know give a quick shout out because so so stunning okay so the next one i have is a, a toothbrush it's an electric toothbrush i've seen people use this like not this one electric brushes over years and years but i don't know i just never got into them but lately like at a point when my teeth were like too yellow and i was so embarrassed and I'm like this is the last resort let me try this one and i got this one initially like you do, you don't see any difference i'm like it's not doing much like i generally how i brush my teeth is giving me the same effect but i think over the months i kind of see the difference a lot and like my teeth look better now right at a point i was a little conscious about like the yellow stain i do like especially in our households because we eat like so much dal uh, sambar and everything is like all haldi so this is the one's the scare uh, smith electric toothbrush I got this one on Amazon. I just randomly tried typed on this one was the one with most uh, reviews and I think it was like 2000 or 2500 max. I thought why not get it and over the time after using it I've been using it for easily like 6 months like 2 months I was in US but 4 months I was using it and I think Are my teeth good like i think it, it's doing a good job so i thought i'll mention it if you're looking at for like you know electric toothbrush or if you're not using one and you want to use one i think it is making a difference for my uh, teeth someone recently complimented like how are your teeth so white i'm like my teeth really i'm like that's a new thing to hear so yeah that is the one i uh, like then the next one i have is a perfume basically it's not an expensive one or it's not like a most exclusive one but it smells really nice and it comes in very handy especially so like all the perfume bottles i have uh, which i generally use are like so big and fat they don't usually fit in my purse i use like tiny tiny purses when i'm going outside so i really like this one especially for touching up or even by itself it smells so 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 good so i always have this sample i have two of these bottles which i always have in my uh, bag the first time i got this i actually got it in pr but then when i tried like the smell the fragrance i loved it so much that i ordered uh, two more so this is the moi by uh, nika this is so so good i love the fragrance of it it's so subtle yet so uh, good i don't know how to explain the fragrance i'm not a big big fragrance person so i don't know how to like explain the fragrance like it's not fruity it's so nice like if i'm more into that uh, woody and And like more soft vanilla i don't like fruity i don't like sweet so this is like a perfect thing for me it's so thin and nice so it kind of fits into any handbag and whenever like i just want to like use a perfume i just like bring it out and pop like this this and <laughs> So whenever I want to like you know use a perfume I just like kind of bring it out of the bag and like you know just just it's done so easy to carry it's 
smells amazing bro it's it's not like very very unique uh, you smell like this ones before but the packaging and the way like it it's convenient in a whole sense the smell is nice the packaging is nice easy to carry so i thought i'll mention it then talking about fragrance let's talk about a candle i've been really really loving so this one is the bathin body works mahogany take wood candle and oh my god it smells amazing dude amazing like if you are into woody uh, fragrances again you will love this so much my room smells divine whenever i light this especially because it's like a three wick candle the aroma is so 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 much and it did not get over like it's it is expensive it's like 2000 uh, one thing but it lasts a quite a long time i it's just like I love it so much. I have two of these. I have one in my uh, studio. I have one in my a uh, bedroom and it smells divine. I like this every day when I'm sleeping. It's kind of like my sleeping fragrance before like half an hour to 45 minutes before I want to sleep. I kind of lit this on. But you can light it any time. I kind of just associated this with that so that it's like a good routine. But other than that you can light this any time and it just smells so 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 good so the last two products are hair care products the first one i want to talk about is a shampoo so i was trying to like you know get into the sulfate free thing and all because i've always just used sulfate shampoos because sulfate free i've tried so 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 many but i just ended up getting either hair fall or dandruff and that has been the case with my hair always since i was a child even if i just used something like dove or etc which are like too nourishing for the hair it just like could not take it then the dewiness or like the oiliness kind of always gave me a uh, dandruff but i feel i finally found like i not feel i finally finally found a sulfate free sls like paraben free shampoo which suits my hair and it does really cleanse my hair, hair as well so usually sls like sulfate free shampoos uh they like i don't feel like my scalp is uh clean you know they leave it like even if i wash my hair my hair still feels like it's not completely clean it still feels oily it still feels flat for some reason but this one even though if it's S sls it's really good this is the kadi natural uh, sls free uh, paraben free wood and sandal what is called ha uh, wood woody sandal and honey shampoo and this is so good it it is literally you would not feel like it's a sulfate free shampoo that is my main point but it is which is really nice it cleanses your hair uh, properly you also feel it's nice and neat it uh, does not like you know dry your hair out like a sulfate shampoo i was okay with using sulfate shampoos i used that all my life they never did any damage to my hair and they actually were more nice because i should not get dandruff etc but like once i colored my hair i had to shift because that would be a little too harsh for my hair so yeah this is the shampoo i've been using you can see like i'm almost out of it i have to place an order for this because i don't have anything else that i currently use so the next one i have is basically again a hair product but this is a hair mask i generally use it like a conditioner as well not like hair mask you need to put it on like for 10 20 minutes right but this i generally use for like a minute also and rinse off so it's like a mask plus conditioner for me and again nothing like this it's one of the best ones i've tried the way like look at my hair it just makes it so shiny i style it so much i do everything but once this is on my hair it feels like soft as a baby's butt okay so this is the l'oreal absolute repair a hair quinoa hair mask so the packaging of this used to be different when i initially actually fell in love with this but recently they changed uh, the packaging so this is called the absolute repair protein plus gold quinoa um, hair mask and again like i told you i use it like a conditioner for 1 2 minutes if i do have time sometimes i leave it on for like 5 minutes but i've never left it on for um more than 5 minutes so they also do say like leave it on to 3 to 5 minutes but it was very rare then the next one and this might be a little new for you because i never really talk about like gadgets etc these things i know whatever works for me but like you know the 
core behind like the tech how, how people review phones and like stuff i don't really know but this one i really like so i recently got airpods uh, pro so like you have this like you know but kind of thing so these ones are basically airpods pro so it is uh, people have this complaint that uh, they kind of fall off your ear a lot but i did not face that i had to just switch up these buds from like the medium size to smaller size for my ear because it's small and after then i did not have an issue for it to fall off or anything the main thing i really liked about these airpods is the noise cancellation so first time i actually realized the effect of this is while i was flying back to india uh, from us because uh, I did not know exactly what noise cancellation meant or how it actually works and that was the first time I put them on and it was like complete vacuum there is so much disturbance on the airplane right but they were on the music is on I did not hear a single like air noise anything like no disturbance whatsoever and i was like oh my god wow and there is so much construction going on in my apartment since the last how many ever months i don't know sometimes it gets too much you get so irritated and you're like oh my god i just need a break right and it gets too much and like, even if you put on music or anything you still feel you hear that so i take these airpods put it or i put on music i cannot hear a single construction noise so i thought it's pretty cool the noise cancellation factor is something i really really like so i thought i'll you know mention it flight is fine bro but the construction noises were so damn annoying one day and i'm like let me try this and i could not hear anything i was like wow I was impressed. So yeah, that's it for the video you guys. Those were all the products I absolutely uh love and would recommend to you guys. All the links will be in the description box. You can definitely check them out. So today's shout out goes to Rushali Bandari. Thank you for always loving and supporting. If you also want to be part of the shout out, all you have to do is comment below with the hashtag #AKS and you can be um in the shout out probably in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video then make Make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up button let me know in the comments what videos do you want me to make and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye